Welcome to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Active Directory. What is Active Directory? What is the purpose of Active Directory? And an Active Directory in Azure and on-premises. To understand Active Directory, it is better to start by assuming an organization without an Active Directory. Let's start from a small company with five computers and five users. All computers have five username and passwords created so that all users can log into any computers with their credentials. Each user account details stored in each computer locally and there is no synchronization between the passwords. If you change password at one computer then if you need to log into another computer, either you need to use the old password or you need to change it manually to the new password. There is no synchronization. This method is called Windows Work Group and are more suitable for small or office networks. Your company grow to 200 users then it is difficult to manage users' permissions and policies in a workgroup method. So instead of keeping all username and password details locally, a centralized approach is more practical. Active Directory is centralized directory used to manage identity and access for and to the resources on a network. As you see in the picture, Authentications are issued from the Active Directory for Exchange Server, File Share, SQL Database, SharePoint, and many other things, including access policies in Firewall. So, this helped the users to use a single username for all the applications in the organization, and it is known as single sign on. In an Active Directory, users, computers, printers, shared folder, all the network peripherals are named as objects and these objects grouped according to their hierarchical structure for active directory using organization units and active directory domains are identified by using a namespace dns name like abc.com or itproguide.com something that related to your company name look at the active directory here for itproguide.com itproguide.com is a dns name for the active directory you can see objects like users and computers are well organized and structured in organization units named users and computers so we can define active directory helps us to manage all the objects like computers users and other network peripherals under a logical namespace microsoft offers two types of Active Directory services. Azure Active Directory services and Microsoft On-Premises AD. Microsoft On-Premises AD comes with Windows Server operating system. Based upon your organization requirement, you can use one of the service or you can use both. Azure Active Directory is primarily an identity solution designed for internet-based users and applications using HTTP and HTTPS communications. Active Directory uses protocols such as LDAP and Kerberos for directory authentication. An on-premises Active Directory which uses LDAP and Kerberos for directory authentication is not suitable for modern internet centric as the mobile style of work environment becoming more and more popular these days. You can use Active Directory on-premises and Azure AD in an organization and you can use Active Directory as your connect to connect and synchronize between your on-premises Active Directory and Cloud Active Directory. Subscribe my YouTube channel and watch next video to know the difference between Azure Active Directory and on-premises Active Directory in detail.